What do you think is different from back in the days R and B and now? Um, back in the day, I feel like they have more truth to it. Today, it's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna just rap this for no reason, you know. That's I'm a fact. Just, I'm gonna just say this, bit. but back in the day, I feel like it's more like, you know, this really happened in my life. Let me just sing to it, you know. So, if you had any inspirational words, which I know that you do, to tell to the young people that look up to you, that's inspiring to do a lot of things like you're doing. Tell me something that you would tell them. Oh, reach for it. Keep do it. You know, at first I was like, I'm nervous. I don't want to do it. I'm scared. And I was like, oh, this is not that hard. I like this. And and you have a wonderful support team. Thank you. Yes, I do. I do. I always feel like if you don't have a support team that's there and backing you to push right. you, you're going to shoot for the stars, but you're not going to aim really high. I always right. feel like when you have people that love you and care for you and they push you and they're there for you and they support you, it makes you go harder for your dream or yes. something that you believe in. Yeah, when you have that one person... That yeah, mom. I'm gonna say before I met before hard. I met you, I met you. Because mm -hmm. I met your I mother, heard. and she was just like, "Hold on, let me say my mother's daughter Nevaeh. Hold up, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on, let me get I my phone. Let me show you. I, she, your mother is your biggest fan. Yes. Okay. Like she is like you know how people would be like, oh, you being a groupie. Your mom is your biggest groupie as she should right. be. Okay. Come I got tell people I'm there. your biggest fan. I'm your best best friend. <laughs> they ain't your best friend. I'm your best friend. Okay. <laughs> I jump in front of a bus for you. They not jumping in front of a bus for you. <laughs> your mother's like, hold up, wait, Q five. Let me. I, I see you coming. Let me come. Okay. <laughs> That's my mother. That's a whole fact. Before right. I met you, I I was just so eager to meet you from the way she was talking about you. And then we went to yeah. the DTF radio, and your mom was there. I was like, wait, hold up. What? <laughs> hold up. I know you. <laughs> you know me. We know each other. It, it was just, I feel like God put me there at that time because Southside called me like, yo, come on, we got to go to a show in Brooklyn. Let's go. And then who would think out of everything that you guys would be there? That was just like really dope. Yeah. That was just really dope. Like We was meant to be. I was to say, look at them. They having a ball with the slime. Y'all got <laughs> quiet already. I should have gave y'all the slime earlier. <laughs> they like, listen, I'm being focused on this and alone. What y'all making? Nothing. <laughs> What do guys what do, what do kids love so much about slime? What do you love so much about slime? I don't play with slime anymore. But when I was younger, like their age, I would always be like, "Oh, I found some slime." Like, but, but what did you love Mom about would it? Eat it? I like the crunch. The you crunch. Know? Okay. You make a bubble and you crunch it. It's like so satisfying. But at some points, it makes your hands cold and like weird, weirded out. So I'm like, okay, time to go bye-bye. Let me tell you, when I was younger, what I loved to do is, when my mother always got a package that came in the mail, it was these little um, plastic things yes. that's in a box that had these little bowls. We just pop them. Yes. Like the big ones now. I love and those. I just like snatch it out the box. I'm like, thank you. I love those. Oh, me too. I it's love like those. such a good thing. So we know your favorite color is purple. What's your favorite yes. food? Oh, Ugh. well, I'm trying to go vegan, so whatever. Vegan is you don't eat... Um, um, I'm going to eat seafood, but I'm going to try to stop eating shrimp because it's from the bottom of the sea. Savages are they, they are related really to roaches. Exactly. Um, I'm trying to stop eating meat because I've Ooh, seen multiple videos of like how they make the meat and it's disgusting on what they do to the animals. So yeah. yeah. Um, my favorite food personally. Of what genre? Because like there's multiple. I love a good. Okay, let's go with Chinese macaroni. first. I don't eat Chinese food. Nothing at all? at all, like fried rice, or wonton, nope. noodles. Nope. Oh wow! Okay, so Italian. I like spaghetti. Just I like spaghetti. Okay, so um, do you eat Haitian food? I do. Oh, I'm Haitian baby. She said, oh, "Do I'm I eat Haitian, Haitian baby?" Oh, I don't know. I'm what's what's your Haitian. favorite? Okay, it's hard because I like the fish. You know. Stop by say on the bullet. I had to say. I had to. Say, I had to. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I like, um, I try to stop eating grill, but it's kind of hard. Grill? Um, what is that? It's a, a fried pork. Like, it's a fried oh fat of meat. Jesus, Lord, take the will. You know I love me some pork, Lord. Yes, Ooh, it's I love fried me some pork. pork. And it's very delicious, mm. but it's not good for you. I'm going to the flea market to get some. It's very much not good for you. No, bad time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very much not good for you, but you know it's okay because as long as you don't eat it constantly, it's it's pretty good. And I like blue crab. The blue way crab. Asians make blue crab, it's like ugh. So like you turn vegan, you can't have that no more. I know, 
That's why I'm waiting for next year. She said, I'm waiting for next year. And then she's going to smell some. She's going to be like, get away from me. Move it away. Move it away. So what's no. your favorite vegan food? Uh, okay, so shout out to my aunt Tiff. Because she put me on vegan. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know it sounds weird. But it's a vegan chicken sandwich. It's made but of it's plants. But it's plant-based. Right. What? And there's a buffalo one. No, no, a regular one. No, she's not lying because me and Maury went to a vegan restaurant last week for yeah. one of my friends' birthday, and I thought it's like, really oh my good. god, this is gonna be disgusting. It's vegan food. Mm. I don't. And a lot of the stuff yeah, that they good. had was good. Yeah, they and had, how much you put flavor in it? It's not gross. They had tacos, some yeah. um, Brussels sprouts, yes, fried um, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, they yeah. had like a veggie burger, mm-hmm. and it was really it was good. good. Especially the French fries. A lot of French fries, as long as you put it in. Is um, it, would you add one with cauliflower? I don't. I don't eat broccoli. What? I was gonna say the one with cauliflower was really good. I don't eat broccoli. Cause she was eating it. She thought it was a regular burger, a regular fries. Yeah, it's good. It was know? really good. I used to be like, hey, you know, as long as it feeds me. You She's know? as long as it feeds me. <laughs> Do you like um Caribbean food like from Guyana, Trinidad, Ooh, Jamaica? I like, okay, I don't I'm very picky with food. Um I like the way my aunt Stacy, the way she makes her food, she's like her own chef. And she's vegan. So you know. Once, she, once I was like, Aunt hey. Stacey, big up yourself. Once I was like, hey, I'm vegan. She was like, 